for it, and he will. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. The keeper nets him only a yard, and that's going to bring up fourth. And he'll get him. Touchdown, Baltimore. Lamar Jackson keeping it himself from a yard out as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Tucker with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Here we go, here we go. The 49er Ready? offense set to get this drive underway. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. He'll get this into the hands of Breida. Accelerating, and off he goes. He's at the 30. 10. Touchdown, 49ers. Matt Breida, an 80-yard touchdown. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now, with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Get ready! Get ready! Get ready! The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. And he will fight his way forward to about the 23-yard line. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. This time, Jackson will throw it, eluding the pressure right. Open man is the tight end, Nick Boyle. They chalked that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the... And now off to the races, down the right side. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Justice Hill, 43 yards. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line.
Here we go, and this should go. be the final right, play before the quarter ends. White, white, white. White, white, white. It's, it's just me and you. Five, five. It's just me and you. Big ass, big ass, big ass. 48, 48 to Mike. On first down, Garoppolo. Throwing deep here for Coleman. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two, as they've got it with a first and 10. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. Brings up second and three at the 41-yard line. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson being chased out left. He can run for it, and he will. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. 11. Hey, dude. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Tyus Bowser just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. And he hits his running back, Tevin Coleman. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Defending an out route is awfully difficult because the best receivers try and sell an inside move before they break to the out, and you have to respect that as a defensive guy because if you let them, what they say, cross your face or get across you in the middle of the field, usually you're beaten on a route, and that's an easier throw for the quarterback. So you ordinarily take a step over to make sure you seal that off. In this case, he was able to not only do that, but react back to the sideline and bat the ball down. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily... The coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened there. You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense, because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. From the gun, it's Jackson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. The offense going to stay out there. They've converted once, failed once. What can they do here on fourth down? Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. to his right. He may try and run for this. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. John Harbaugh not afraid to go for it this time. Doesn't work out. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Patrick Onwasor up to make the tackle. From the 45 on second down, Garoppolo. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Garoppolo looks to throw. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Michael Pierce in all of his 340-pound glory gets the sack. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. And now a high kick here as he'll try to hang it up there. And how about this? He takes it all the way back. No time, no flags, a punt return touchdown and a stop. 